Well, I got something here for you. Well, let's see. Auto welding helmet from Mr. Blacksmith. Now, this only cost me $17 at uh, Princess Auto this week. So $17. Well, I don't know how good it's going to be, but uh, I don't know. Might do a test or two here with it to see how good it is. But it is solar powered. High clear view filter, perm permanent UV IR protection, high strength mask material, and sensitivity. Ooh, okay, so it's got those qualifications. Uh, let's see. Uh, good for shielded metal arc welding, MIG on heavy metals, MIG on light alloys, gas tungsten arc welding, uh, TIG, of course, saw shielded semi-automatic arc welding, and plasma arc cutting. Well, this thing does it all. This thing is awesome. I can't wait to get it open. So, let me get her open and we'll get a good look at it. And, of course, we're in the shop at work here, so hopefully I can get this thing. Oh, I hate it when I rip boxes. When I'm trying to open something, I really hate that. That really annoys me. So it opens straight up. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's take her out. Here's the booklet. Is that it? Yep, yeah, that's it. Let's throw the booklet aside here, or I mean the box. Let's see what we got. Looks like your standard type of welding helmet. So, it's got a little booklet here. Um, hmm. uh, all sorts of doodads in here that tells you all sorts of things about it. Um, specifications. Solar powered cells with battery assistant. Not rechargeable. Operating temperature 14 to 149 Fahrenheit or minus 10 to 65 Celsius. Hmm. Uh, resting shade, shade number four. Uh, shade range, nine to 13. UV, oh, there's all that stuff. Uh, viewing area, 3.34 times 1.2, one and two thirds inch. Welding protection types. Uh, we already read those. Lens switching speed. There we go. Uh, 25 thousandths. One. It's a 25 thousandths second. Hmm. Hopefully that's quick. I'm not sure. We'll have to test that out. Uh, so. We see all of this stuff. I'm supposing they wouldn't sell this thing. And, and hopefully... Uh, wouldn't sell it uh, and have it that I get a flash before I'd actually start. I've had welding helmets that you get a flash actually before it would start to darken, which wasn't very good. This one does look half decent. Uh, pull that off. There we go. I suppose I could have done that better, but it didn't give me a chance to. Okay, got that off. Oh, there's more here. Darn it. Good enough for now. Let's take a look at the inside here. Ah, the sensitivity is on the inside. So... We have a uh, you know trying to take that off. There we go. Now we got the inside plastic off. And let us take a look. Delay uh, minimum is set to minimum, so that's good. Uh, sensitivity is actually. 
Oh, it was set to low. We'll set it to... What is the highest setting there for it? Looks like high. That's all it says. Low or high? Well, we'll set her to around uh, three quarters. So there's a test. Oh, yeah. So that does work. How am I going to get you guys in here to look at stuff? I think I'm going to take off my fun stuff here. And I do have a nice welding helmet I bought last year. There's that. But you can always use a backup for cheap. So this one actually doesn't look that bad. Oh my word. What did I just do? Let's see what is on here like this. Nope. Okay, now I took her apart. This goes on here like this. Okay, I uh, I may have screwed up this whole thing here. By taking this off. Oh. Okay, let's see here. There. There? No. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> don't know. Just stick it back in the bag. I don't need it right now. Just stick it back in the bag and just leave it alone. Wow. Well, oh, last time I'll ever use this product, right? <laughs> I'll forget about that and take it out when I need it and be like, oh, I gotta fix this again. So. Can we see through there? I'm not sure. Um, there's a test here. And it does get quite dark when you hit the test. I don't think it's coming through. Okay, what can I do here to help that? I don't have a light here. Okay, one second. So there we go. We can see the lights through there, right? Let me hit the button. There we go. So it does work. See the light? Let me turn the shade. So that maybe... You can just see it through there a little bit. So it does work. So I do have a little welder set up, a little stick. And I'm going to do this. And let's see. Come on. paying attention to it so there we go we have that as long as I don't burn the garage down now <laughs> turn this off but uh, we do see that this little well of a helmet does work so well it'll be good as a backup for me so uh, it's probably all it'll be used for yet. Yeah, watch, I'll probably start using it as my full-time welding helmet because it works actually. It looks like it works really good. So, uh, good old Mr. Blacksmith welding helmet here. It looks like it will work. For $17, uh, Princess Auto really couldn't go wrong with this uh, as a backup. And uh, I think I'll be happy with my purchase. Uh, now I just got to figure how to put the... Uh, the harness back on it after I screwed that up big time so <laughs> uh, It was just a little video to show you this cheap welding helmet to see how it actually worked and um, I hope I accomplished that 
So, well, thanks for watching if you did. It was just a little fun video I did just to uh, do something different than oil filters and a few of the other things I was doing. All right, thanks for watching.